Just come from the mechanics workshop and asking yourself, what is this DPF and what's it doing on my car? Well, we're here to help answer those questions. Controlling harmful exhaust emissions is legislated by the government and is the responsibility of the vehicle manufacturer. All passenger cars are built to meet national or global emission standards. These standards are under constant review, with new standards progressively reaching legislation to continue the improvement of our air quality and reduce environmental impacts. Australia has adopted international emission control regulations which were developed by the United Nations and referred to as Euro standards. The Euro standards regulate the emission targets from vehicles of nitrogen oxides, hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide and particulate materials, often referred to as particulate matter. Particulate matter is a collection of ultrafine particles mainly composed of carbon with adsorbed sulphate, nitrate, metallics and other trace elements. It's these particles that make up part of the atmospheric soot pollution we see and hear about every day. While diesel engines have many great qualities, unfortunately they produce particulate matter and left uncontrolled this becomes an environmental health issue. Diesel particulates are nasty little things, so small that they can avoid many of the human respiratory system defence mechanisms and enter deeply into the lungs. This type of acute exposure may also cause irritation to the eyes, nose and throat, resulting in coughing, nausea or asthma. The global emission standards and government legislation are in place to keep vehicles clean and reduce hazards to our health. Manufacturers have met this legislation head on by developing and installing diesel particulate filter systems on their vehicles. The filters capture hazardous particulate matter and prevent their release to the atmosphere. Like any legislation, steps are put in place to have vehicle manufacturers meet new emissions targets, while laws are also put in place to ensure vehicle owners retain these emission control systems. If you're faced with the need to replace the vehicle's DPF and it's suggested that it be removed or bypassed as a cheaper option, then you need to be aware of the consequences of this action. Depending on the state or territory, the driver of a vehicle that has had its DPF removed, modified or bypassed will face an EPA enforced penalty of over $300. If that doesn't hurt the budget, the fine for actually removing, modifying or bypassing the DPF sits at over $20,000 for an individual and upwards of $40,000 for a company. So, if you have a DPF that needs replacing and would like more information on your options, then check out the RICO Filters DPF website or contact our customer care team today. Thanks for watching.